Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from Slide Cow. My name is Yo-Yo and together we're going to make your slides amazing. I have something very special for you this week. We are going to animate a title slide or a PowerPoint cover and it's going to look stunning. That's correct. We are going to use animation in this tutorial. Slide Cow's first animation tutorial. I am so excited, so let's get to it. Step one, use a picture as a background. So this step is very straightforward. You need a high resolution, high quality picture to use as a background for this slide. If you need help finding a perfect high resolution image to use for free, then please click on the info button on the top right corner or the link in the description and I'll help you out. But for right now, I'm gonna be using this picture that you see right over here. Now, there's a lot of editing we have to do this picture to make sure it's set up for the slide. So let's get right into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this picture go to format, click on compress pictures, and then I'm gonna click on web 150 PPI. This is just to keep my picture compressed within this PowerPoint file. It helps PowerPoint sort of not be overloaded with the resources. It also makes the PowerPoint file a lot more smaller than it should be. So I'm gonna be clicking on this and I'm gonna click okay, and then we're good. Second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to color and I'm gonna set it to grayscale, which is right over here, right? And this is just to give it that black and white effect, but we're still not done. Third thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to corrections and I'm gonna go to picture correction options and I'm gonna set the brightness to minus 50, just to give it a very dark look, right? And the fourth thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to artistic effects and I'm gonna click on paint strokes. Once I find it, I think it's this one. No, I think it's this one, yeah, there we go. I'm also going to go to artistic effects one more time, and then I'm gonna go to uh, artistic effects options, as you can see over here, and I'm gonna set the intensity to around three rather than five, you know, just to give it, just to lighten up the look a little bit, and I think that looks amazing. So we're gonna move on to the second step. Step two, set up the slide. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to insert, we're gonna click on shapes, and we're gonna click on this, which is the circle hollow shape, right? Which is this over here. We're gonna hold shift and just draw out the shape just like this. We're going to make it a bit thinner than usual, something like that, and we're gonna make it white without an outline. Then we're gonna to go to home, arrange, align, align middle, and arrange, align, align center, just like this. In fact, that's a little bit too thick, so we're gonna make it a bit thinner, just like that. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna to go to insert, I'm gonna click on text box, I'm gonna draw the text box in the middle here. You can type in whatever you would like, right? You don't even need a shape, but I just went with a shape just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna do. You can type in whatever you'd like. Ideally, it would be the, you know, the actual title of your presentation, but for me, I'm just gonna type in hello, right? And I'm gonna change the font to Montserrat Black. So let me find that here. Where are you, Montserrat? Montserrat Black. There we go, right there, all right? Um, I'm gonna set everything to be uppercase. I'm also gonna set the entire text to be around 50 in terms of the uh, size. I'm gonna center it, I'm gonna make it white, and then I'm gonna go to Arrange, Align, Align Center, and Arrange, Align, Align Middle. Beautiful. Actually, I think that's a bit too big. Let's go with 45 and do the same thing. Gorgeous. All right. I like this a lot. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Then I'm going to click on this text box over here. I'm going to press Control Shift and drag it down just like this. And I'm just going to change the font size to 16 and type in, you know, a presentation by John Doe. All right. I'm also going to spread it out just like this. And then I'm gonna to go to Arrange, Align, Align, Center, as you can see over here, perfect. And let me just bring that up a bit, just a bit. All right, awesome, love it. The final thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Insert, we're gonna to go to Shapes, we're gonna click on this line here, we're gonna draw out the line, just a bit wider than both the text and the circle, right? Both of them. 
So we have to go from here, just draw it out like this, right? Make it white, make it, you know, a bit thicker. So go with like a, a one and a half, just like this. Center it as well. So go to arrange, align, and then align center, just like that. Bring it up just a bit. All right, perfect. Okay, I love this. All right, now before animating anything, there's still something that we need to do to make sure our animation is sleek and perfect. Duplicate this slide and delete everything except for the line that you just made, right? Delete everything except for the line that you just made, which is this line right over there, all right? Then what you wanna do is you wanna go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on this rectangle over here. You're gonna zoom in and you're gonna draw out the rectangle that will quite literally be at least, right, at least the same sort of width as this line, right? Just like this. We're gonna remove the outline so we get a better look. I think this looks fine, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna click on the picture first, the shape second, go to format, and then, sorry, this format under drawing tools, and then go to merge shapes, and then just click on intersect. You'll be left with this, right? You'd need this. I repeat, this is the only thing that you will need in your slide. Once you have that segment done, copy it and then paste it on the slide that you made earlier, okay? And then it's just a matter of prioritizing which elements are in front of which, right? So this, the picture that we have, the background picture, right? Let me just like actually help you out by going to the selection pane. So under home, uh, select and then selection pane, we can see everything. So the background picture is over here. In fact, I'm gonna rename the background picture so you can see, right? It's at the front, okay? The segment has to be the second one, right? The line has to be the, has to be the uh, first, and then everything else stays as is. So again, the line, this one over here, the line, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm gonna change the color so you can see it, has to be at the forefront of everything that we do, and then it's the segment picture, and then it's the text, and the circle, and then it's the background picture. One more time, just so we understand, because it's very important, line first, segment picture second, everything else third, and then the background picture last. All right, are we good? Did you guys set it up? Perfect, let's move on to the next step. Step three, animate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on animations, the animations tab, which is just over here, and then we're gonna click on the animation pane. The animation pane is gonna help us know what animation comes before or after what animation, right? So it'll basically tell us this is gonna come first, this is gonna come second, this is gonna come third, et cetera, et cetera. It's really helpful in knowing the priority of the animations, okay? Good. So first things first, we're gonna click on this line, right? And then we are going to click on split, just like that, all right? Now, we're gonna go to effect options, and then we're gonna go to vertical out. Right? As you can see over here, the line is sort of coming from inside to outside. It reveals itself from the center all the way to the edges. Right, That's exactly what we want. Now, I'm not happy with how long that takes, so I'm gonna be double clicking on the line animation over here in the animation pane. I'm going to put timing over here. I'm gonna set this to one second. I'm also gonna set the delay to one second. Now what this delay does is that it gives it a one second delay before this animation starts, right? And the reason why that's important is because once we launch this slide, okay? Once we launch this slide, it'll be a one second delay before the animation starts. So we're gonna click, okay, before we click okay actually, we're gonna click on with previous. Now what this does is that it basically tells the line to, to start animating as soon as we click on the, uh, the uh, full size presentation slideshow uh, option over here. So I'm gonna show you everything that I mean right now. All right, I'm gonna click okay. See what I mean? So when I click this now, when I click slideshow, you're gonna take, it's gonna take one second and then everything's gonna come up very smoothly, very perfectly. It's absolutely amazing, right? Perfect, all right. That is one part of the animation done. Not too hard, not too hard at all. Second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna group up both this circle and the hello by pressing Control G, 
And then what we're going to do is we're in the animations uh, section, in the animations tab over here, we're gonna click on something called fly in. All right, we're gonna click fly in. Just like before, we're gonna double click on this animation and we're gonna change some options. Let's go to timing first. We're going to start this animation after the previous animation is done. So after the line animation is done, the one we just did, this animation will take place. We're also going to set the delay to zero. We're going to set the duration to two. We're going to go to effect at the smooth start. We're going to set it to 0.3 and at the smooth end, we're going to set it to one. All right. Now let's click OK and see what we get. Beautiful. So now let's see what we have. Once we click on play from from the beginning, let's see what we get. We have the line coming out. We have that circle popping out of the line. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're not done yet though. We are going to click on the group that we just made. We are gonna go to animations. We're gonna click on animation painter, which is just over here. And then we're gonna click on the second title, which is the subtitle, which or, or name or other text box or whatever you wanna call it, which is a presentation by John Doe. We're gonna click that just like this. Gorgeous. Now. What I want to do with this one is I want to double click it. Instead of after previous, I'm going to say with previous, just like this. That means both will start at the same time, but hold on. There's a twist. As you can see, both now will start at the same time if we click on play from. So line comes out first, the circle and the title come out at the same time, but I don't like that effect. I want there to be a little bit of a delay between the two. So what can I do? I'm going to click over here and I'm going to drag this to start after 0.5 seconds. So it starts at two seconds now. Now let's move this by 0.5. So one, two, three, four, five. As you can see over here, it says start 2.5 seconds. That's what we want, right? Now let's try it. Let's see how beautiful this is. The line comes out, the circle comes out, the title follows through. Beautiful. So gorgeous. I love it. All right. Now, we want that line to go away, right? We want, that, we want that same line to go away. That's the only way we can finish off the slide with such beautiful vibes and such smooth animations. Oh, I love it. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to click on add animation. This is very important. Don't start clicking over here. We need to add another animation for the same element, right? Click on add animation here and then click on it as being split just like this and there we go right it's from the outside to in we're going to change it to a one second duration just like that and it's going to take place after right after the last thing after the last animation that happened right so we're going to click ok and there we go there's the beauty right now let's see everything come together from start to finish. Here we go. We have our line coming out, the circle popping up, the title just underneath anything, and the line fitting away. Perfect, oh my God. Here we go, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Encore, encore. So let's see how awesome it looks at full screen. Here we go. Line coming out, circle popping up, subtitle underneath, the line fitting, oh my God, it's amazing. Oh, I love it, I love it. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. As you can see, animations are a new area that I want to explore with SlideCow. If you do enjoy this sort of thing, right, let me know. Just tell me, what do you think, right? What do you think? Is this something that you want to learn in PowerPoint? Is this something that you really are craving? You know, how to make absolutely stellar slides that don't, don't just look nice, but, you know, move, right? That make you want to go like, whoa, like this is the coolest thing ever, right? The possibilities of PowerPoint are absolutely endless. Guys, just let me know. Right. If you do like this video, please do like, do share, do comment, and do subscribe. And please, please, please do visit www.slidecal.com and sign up to our mailing list for five free slides. I will see you guys next time. This is YoYo -Yo signing off. Bye-bye.